Welcome back to Bourbon Country Reacts. Hey guys. I'm Keith. That guy is Dustin. Bourbon music, you know this. Bourbon music, yeah, y'all y'all know that stuff. Bribe. Bribe. Melody. Bribe. Mel Melody bribe. Melody got us Dickel 12. I am not sure if I have had Dickel 12. We've had a Dickel. I don't remember if it was I don't think it was one. that one. We've had the Devil's Cut. No, no, I think no. We've that's had... Jim Beam. Oh, right, right. Uh, I don't think we've had a 12, man. We've had a Dickel. I don't remember which one it was. I think it was this one. Was it Maybe 20? it was, but it I don't think been. it was. So, We're going to try it out anyway. Yeah. Regardless. Yeah. What, what uh, song does Melody want with this bribe? So, uh, she wants a Kenny Rogers tune. So We've only done one Kenny Rogers? We have. And w so I know some Kenny Rogers and uh, a couple of real popular songs that he's done are like The Gambler and The Coward of the County. Yeah. Coward of the County is freaking incredible. We I heard know. Lady, I think is the one we listened to. Lady's the one we listened to. And I think that was a Lionel Richie collaboration. So Was it? Yeah. Um, I think Lionel may have written the song for him, like, on the toilet. <laughs> Not even kidding. So, <laughs> what skill? Yeah. Um, anyway, so this song is called The Greatest. I was a little confused when I was kind of searching for it because there's not a lot out there on youtube on this and i'm not sure if i've got the right thing we're gonna find out so we are very much about to find out and this looks like it's audio only okay um so let's let's check it out little boy in a baseball hat i've heard this stands in the field i have it with his ball and bat Says I am the greatest player of them all. Puts his bat on his shoulder and he tosses up his ball. And the ball goes up and the ball comes down. Swings his bat all the way around. The world's so still you can hear the sound. The baseball falls. Plop. To the ground. Now the little boy doesn't say a word, picks up his ball, he is undeterred, says I am the greatest there has ever been, and he grits his teeth, and he tries it again, and the ball goes up, and the ball comes down, swings his bat all the way around, the world's so still you can hear the sound, the baseball fall. To the ground. I may have done that a million times. He makes no excuses. He shows no fear. He just closes his eyes and listens to the cheers. <laughs> Little boy, he adjusts his hand. Some picks up his ball. Stares at his man. Says I am the greatest The game is on the line And he gives his all One last time And the ball goes up Like the moon so bright Swings his bat with all his might And the world's as still as still can be And the baseball falls And that's strike three Now it's supper time, and his mama calls. Little boy starts home with his bat and ball. Says, I am the greatest. That is a fact. But even I didn't know I could pitch like that. <laughs> Says, I am the greatest. That is understood. But even I didn't know I could pitch that good. <laughs> wow. That's great, right? That's pretty awesome. That's great. Can you just see a little, like, I don't know, <laughs> eight-year-old oh, doing that? I can see me. I'm, I'm, 
Dude, I would uh, I would set up cans hmm? and throw rocks. Yeah. At the cans. Yeah. And keep count. I mean, you could hit. If I missed the count. Oh, yeah. That I game. kept count, man. Yeah. You'd set them back up if you missed one. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. If, 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 if I hit it, it was a strike. Okay. If I missed, it was a ball. And I'd be pretty far away. Right? Yeah. And... I'd have I'd have four cans and I'd put them on base when I walked them. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I, I I used to do that, man. Yeah. I played the game where see how many times you could go without missing. Yeah. Start over again when you missed. You, you could play that, but you had to be pretty close, right? Yeah. That's yeah, true. you had to be Closer. pretty close. Well, you could. Every time you hit, you should back up. Well. I've done some drills like that and other things, but no, nah, with, with baseball, I, I just kept count. Well, throwing rocks. But, uh, yeah, I mean, kids do that stuff. Well, baseball player kids they, do that kids, stuff. Kids used to do that stuff. I wonder if they still do. I'd be surprised, man. It's like, man, back in our day, even my day, before the dinosaurs were on the earth, yeah. Base, baseball was no joke, man. No, I know. I'm saying, what I'm saying is we used to go out when the sun came up. Mm-hmm. And as long as mom knew we weren't going to be home for dinner, we didn't come back until the sun was down. Oh, yeah. I mean, Playing baseball or whatever. So it depended on the time of year, right? Yeah, true. So if if it was spring, summer, and early fall, aside from our actual formal like Little League games. Right. Right. It, Pick up. Yeah, I mean we're we're at an improvised field with and we're playing. Yeah. So about fall, it switched over to football. Yeah. Remember all the uh, no pads tackle football <laughs> and somebody, somebody got killed. <laughs> plenty got hurt. Yeah. <laughs> I, and I'm pretty sure I was knocked unconscious uh, more than once. Uh, I ran with some twins who were pretty pretty rough kids, man, and uh, they hit hard. <laughs> uh, yeah, and Todd and Troy, if you're out there, you'll remember. I, I think at any given on any given day, somebody was getting knocked out cold. And we were the greatest. <laughs> well, I don't know if we the were. Game the was on the line. Yeah. It was fourth. It was it was fourth quarter. There's a minute left, and you had no timeouts. You were down by a touchdown. Yeah, so I don't know which ended more Sandlot games for us. Somebody getting hurt or somebody getting in a fight. Mm. But one of the two was probably going to happen every time. Generally. Yeah. If you're doing it right. The baseball was a little more civil for some reason. It's all the same guys. Well, it's not a contact sport. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> well, it not shouldn't supposed be. supposed to be. It's that not... doesn't mean it wasn't. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Fair point. <laughs> If you're at home plate when he's coming, you're going to get hit. <laughs> Somebody is. Somebody's going to get hit, yep. Kenny delivered that pretty good, though. I, yeah, he did. I mean, his his voice is obviously just awesome. And, and the the punchline was pretty hilarious. <laughs> the greatest pitcher of all time. <laughs> that was awesome. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> I was like, man, I struck out tossing the ball in the air. Who knew I was such a good pitcher? <laughs> I never, I, that thought never crossed my mind. It really should have. I'd, I'd have been home and be like, Dad, I struck some idiot out 35 times. Really? <laughs> I had a perfect game. I didn't even throw a ball. It was all strikes. <laughs> he hit a foul once. Uh, yeah, yeah, tip. <laughs> Eh, funny too. Um, was that a mandolin in there? I don't know. I kind of, I was so lost in the story, I really wasn't paying a ton of attention to the music. There were some strings in there that were interesting. Yeah, I, I probably need to go back and rewatch it. I, I apologize, guys. I know I you normally music break down here. the music, but uh, I, I got sucked into You're that the story. Yeah. Ball at the floor. Plop. <laughs> So, what do you think of this dickle, man? It's okay. It's not the worst thing I've ever drank. 
kind of, this is going to sound weird. It reminds me of Sprite. Oh, well, I was getting ready to say there's a little lemon lime on the initial. And right. it sticks there for a little while. It kind of carries over to the mid. Then the mid goes to a mix of sweet and bitter and oak, bitter oak. Yeah. Um, I, I think I may have had some bias kind of coming into this reaction against Dickel. This 12 years is pretty darn good, man. It's not bad. I, I, I think it's good. I don't know that I would go good. Here, let me try again. It's very smooth. It's got... There's a little cinnamon in that initial, too. A little cinnamon, a little citrus. Corn that, sweet. That up front has got a... Weird bitter that I just don't care for. It hits right... Right there. There's just weird... Bitter with the Sprite. I am really not getting that. Hmm. Okay. Well, I do everybody... get it on the finish. It's pretty pretty. It's weird. profound on the finish. It, what do you think it is? It's like... It's oak. Like, it's like a bad oak. I don't like it. <laughs> I, I do. Dustin and I are going to have to disagree on this I don't this like one. this one. I, I think this is this is actually pretty good. And I'm not generally a Dickel fan. I wonder if they use... It's a sour mash. What's that mean? Well, they use some starter from the previous. Match, yeah. yeah. It's not a sweet mash. Um, it's relatively smooth. Um, I'm going to guess the proof about 90. Where they, is it? They charcoal mellow it. It's 90. Right on the dot. Really? Yeah. Man, that's like twice in a row. That's, man, that's a good job. Handcrafted small batch. It's a Tennessee whiskey. So they call it a whiskey. They don't call it a bourbon, by the way. wonder what they did to it to make it not a bourbon. Uh, well, it's Tennessee whiskey, so it could be nothing. Uh, it is yeah. charcoal mellowed. That's probably... That, that's probably it. Because I don't know that you can do that with bourbon. They may see that as like a additive. I wonder if that's injecting that flavor. You're... It could be. I'm getting charcoal. Yeah, I can I can see that. Maybe mm -hmm. maybe there there is a little of that bitter char kind of coming through. So the finest quality ain't nothing better sipping, is what they say on here. That's false. But Keith likes it. He's the music guy. I actually do. I think it's pretty darn good. Okay. Yeah. So. Hey, everybody's got a different palate. It's true. Um, and we did just eat the same food, though. Mm, you had Doritos and a oh, Twix. I didn't I, need a Twix. That's right. Maybe the Twix is messing with me. Normally, he's the Twix guy. Yeah, what do we have that was delicious, though? Uh, he, we had some of uh, his smoked brisket, which is from the gods. So, it was, yeah. It was good cold. To be <laughs> honest, like... I knew we, we warmed it up, but it was good enough cold. It actually lost so well. I noticed when I nuked mine, it lost a little bit of smoke. Uh, I didn't taste much smoke on it, so that's probably... Yeah. yeah. The microwave was full of something. Smoke. It looked like smoke. <laughs> it lost all it its smoke. It the magic smoke came out. Oh, yeah. crap. <laughs> all right. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give us a like. Go ahead and subscribe. Drop down on the comments. Tell us what songs we need to check out. Tell us what North American whiskeys we need to try. Till next time. We'll see you.